how to update the WooCommerce order status in Google Sheets automatically. So let's say some customer has just cancelled an order from your WooCommerce store. Now you will have to update the status from processing to cancel in both these applications individually since you are managing your whole order data here also. So either you can do it manually in these applications or you can create an automation where whenever you will update the status in your WooCommerce store, the same changes will be reflected here in the Google Sheet as well so that you do not have to do anything manually. Yes, it is possible. I just need to connect my WooCommerce and Google Sheets with the help of an automation software. So if you also want to learn this process, come with me and I'll show you the process step by step. So this is my online WooCommerce store and these are all the orders of my WooCommerce store and you can see the status some of them are processing cancel and on hold and I also maintain the data in order to create a backup here in the spreadsheet as well. Now I want whenever I make any changes in these orders the same changes should be reflected here also so that I don't need to manually update these things and I'm going to do this by connecting my WooCommerce store with the Google Sheet app application with the help of an automation and integration software Pabli Connect. You can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link in the description box. Now firstly you will have to create your free account from this button if you are a new user. I am already an existing user that is why I am clicking on signing and let me tell you in the free account of Pabli Connect you will also get free tasks to test this automation that too every month. Now after reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue button create workflow and just provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. I am providing the name as when order status is updated in the store, auto update in the sheet as well. So click on create and you will find two boxes in front of you. Those are actually trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. When this happens, do this. Understand with an example also that whenever a sale happens, happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application as well well according to our use case whenever the order status is changes in woocommerce application update the order status in google sheet application so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are creating the automation. And since here I am going to create the automation in between Google Sheet and WooCommerce. So that is why the WooCommerce will be the trigger application, the first application. And in the trigger event, I am going to choose that whenever the order is updated. Okay, whenever the order is updated. Triggers when an order is updated. I want this automation should trigger whenever the order is updated in my my WooCommerce store. Now you can see after selecting these two things, I have this webhook URL and few set of instructions. So I am going to connect my WooCommerce with the Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL by following these instructions. So you'll have to copy this webhook URL, go back to your WooCommerce account. And here I will click on this dashboard section and here I will directly go to my WooCommerce store. So this is my WooCommerce store. These are all the settings section. Here I'll be choosing the advanced option. Okay, here you will have to click on this advanced section and here exactly you will find an option of webhooks. Okay, click on this webhook option. And here we are going to click on this add new webhook option and we will create a new webhook. So just provide a random name. I am providing the name as WooCommerce and Google Sheets. Okay, Google Sheets integration. Okay, let me correct this spelling WooCommerce. All right. And here in the status, you will have to change it from disabled to active. And in the topic, whatever the trigger event you have selected in the Pabli Connect, you will have to select the same. And there we have actually selected the order updated. Let me even show you the trigger event was order updated. Yes, it was the same. Coming back here and in the delivery URL, I'm going to finally paste the same webhook URL, which I have actually got from the Pabli Connect and keep these two things as it is, click on save and you will see the webhook will be added immediately here in the Pabli Connect, sorry, in the WooCommerce store. So coming back here and you will see, it will ask you to recapture the webhook response. So I will be clicking on this button, click on this yes button again. And here you can read the instructions where, log into the application where you have added the web 
playbook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webbook response so here the test submission means updating an order for the testing purpose so that the data of that updated order can be recorded here in the pabli connect so i'll directly go to my order section you can see these are all the orders and here i am going to change the status of one of my order so here i have this order 57147 and demo customer has actually placed this order coming back in my google sheet and let me cross check yes i have this order as 57146 the order status is actually processing the customer name is this demo customer and i am going to update the order status so assume that demo customer is no longer interested in buying this product so they have called me and specifically asked me to cancel their orders so what i'll do is i'll go to my store and i will change the status from processing to cancel for this particular order so i am going to click on this apply button and you will see the changes will be done from processing to the cancels okay so this particular order has been cancelled now now i want to update the same status here in the spreadsheet as well so how i will do just watch my video till end so firstly i'll come back to pabli connect and you will see same response will be received here in the pabli connect you can see the response has been received and let me even show you the details one by one okay you can see i have actually cancelled the order for this microphone and the name of the customer as far as i remember it was actually the demo customer you can see demo customer and let me even check the status of this particular order okay if i will search with the status well there are lot of status word here so how about i directly search it with the cancelled word okay let me search for the same and you can see the status of this order is actually cancelled so whatever the changes i have done here has been captured here in the pabli connect so that means woocommerce and pabli connect are successfully integrated and the first step of our integration is actually done now i want to update the same changes in the google sheet as well so here in the second application i am going to select a google sheet as the action application and in the action event i will actually search for the lookup spreadsheet row now why this particular action event because firstly i am going to search for this specific value which i need to update okay so firstly i am going to look up this value i am going to find this particular value okay so that is why the action even will be the same click on connect and click on then add new connection we are actually connecting our google sheet with pabli connect connect with google sheet now provide the access of your google sheet account basically your gmail account in which your google sheet is actually available so i am providing the same and don't worry pabli connect is 100% safe click on continue and you will see the authorization will be successful and your google sheet account will be connected with the pabli connect and you can see it is connected and whatever the spreadsheets are available into my account have started visible here and i am going to select this all order sheet okay so let me select the same while well, it is the recent sheet which i have created into my account so it has selected the same and here in select sheet again i have just a single sheet so it will be the same now finally it is asking for the lookup columns so instead of directly looking up for the column b i will actually prefer to look up for the column a why because b column actually consist of the duplicate values but i have the only column basically the a column as the unique value okay these values will not be duplicate these values will not be repeated so that is why instead of looking up for the column b here i will be selecting column a and it is asking for the lookup value so i am going to look up for the order id okay so this is how i am going to first find out that particular row with the help of this data okay so here i will be map the order id okay so from where i'm going to map it you can see when you will click on this field insert the data from the previous step and the previous step data is actually visible here in the drop down so i am going to directly search for the id and where is my order id let me search for the same and you can see 57147 
this is the order id i have added it include header in response well it is totally up to you whether you would like to include the headers or not sort value again it is completely up to you now i am going to click on this button save and send test request and you will see the response will be received immediately with these particular values okay coming back here and you can see the response has been received and let me even show you the order status is actually processing let me check yes the order status is actually processing what is the order id well it is 57147 here's the customer name here's the phone number here's the email address well we have all the data which is actually available in the google sheet basically the first column basically the header column and finally the value which we, for which we have actually look up for okay now the second step of our integration is actually done basically we have find out this particular data with the help of the order id okay firstly we have actually received the data whose order has been updated here in the public connect and with the help of that order id we have searched for that specific data here in the sheet now finally it is turned to update the details automatically so again i'll have to go with the google sheets only because here i am going to update the details in google sheet only and in the action event since we are going to update the status we are going to update the values that is why update will be the action event and here i just want to update the status column only just a single cell only so i can actually go with this update cell value in case you want to update multiple values of your row you can actually go with this particular action even for now i am going to choose this update cell value and instead of selecting the new connection i am going to choose this select existing connection since i have just made the connection with the google sheet in the previous step okay and you can see the authorization will be successful and the google sheet has been connected immediately again it is asking for the spreadsheet well it has selected automatically select sheet again it will be sheet 1 only finally it is asking for the range and the value and how exactly we need to provide the range enter the range of the sheet that need to be updated example column 5 basically the column name and here is the row number row index okay column name and the row index i want to update which particular column i want to update the b column so that is why i'll be selecting i'll be adding b here and the row index well this particular value the row index will vary every time this will not be the fixed value our column value is actually fixed but row value will be changed every time with the new data when for the new data is updated so instead of manually writing this row index again i am going to map it from the above response basically from the google sheet response and here only you will find the option of the row index okay so i have actually mapped the row index currently i am actually updating the value of row index basically row number 2 okay so i have added the same finally it is asking for the value to be updated so i want to update the value from the processing to the one which we have received in the above application in the above response okay so i'll be adding the same i'll be mapping the same so currently we are updating the b2 value okay we are updating the b2 value as the update status so which i will received from the previous step so let me search for the cancel word so that i can find that particular word quickly and here you can see the status is cancel now i will be clicking on this button but before that let me again show you the current status is actually processing for this particular order id clicking on this button and you will see the magic the changes will be done automatically and response is received going to refresh it well in fact i don't need to even refresh this sheet you can see the cancelled has been updated the status has been updated immediately so this means the automation is working absolutely fine and now onwards whenever you will do the updations here in your woocommerce store the same changes will be done automatically here in your spreadsheet well in this particular video i have actually changed the status of this particular b column 
form only in case you want to update any other details you can also do the same as per your requirement by doing little changes in our automation so let us take a look first what exactly we have done firstly we have connected our woocommerce with pabli connect and captured the order updated data now finally we have searched for that particular value that particular row with the help of order id and after finding that particular row we have finally updated the cell value so once you have created this automation inside pabli connect sit back and relax because it is just a one time process now let me show you how this automation is going to work in the real time so i will be picking up this particular order number 57146 dummy user the status is actually cancelled okay 57146 the order status is actually cancelled and the customer name is dummy user so let me change the status from cancel to the processing or maybe something else okay so change status to processing okay wait for it click on apply and here you can see the status has been changed to processing coming back to my spreadsheet and yes the status has been just changed automatically here in the spreadsheet as well not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video